Aloha, dear sweet family of light. It's me, Lisa. And my voice is going to be a bit weird in these. Uh, we're being upgraded in the third chakra region uh, along with the whole upper uh, higher realms in, in our physical body, um, which has been uh, quite interesting for many, to say the least. Anyway, I'm going to sound funny, but that's okay because uh, this is I can still transmit in light as I speak. It just will be a different vibrational frequency um, that you hear, but you'll still receive. So this is uh, the next um, module, the next uh, video in the um, multidimensional mastery course uh, with Lisa Trenton. It's Brown, and this one is going to be embodiment. Of as a multidimensional uh, consciousness of we. Now, as we start to unify inside, we become one again, and we start to connect, uh, and from a whole different place, uh, we become love again. We start to embody the higher vibrations uh, from within. Now, we can actually feel separation inside of us, and when we separate off, um, from the collective consciousness of one, uh, which is we, and this is us uh, remembering again. And so we will speak uh, as we. Uh, we are one. There is no separation at all. And when I started doing this, it, it was a bit weird because people would lock, look at me and go, who is we? Um, I was speaking from multiple dimensions, from a consciousness from a place of remembering again. Um, now it's normal. I speak as we I have done this for a few years. Um, it is how we are here again. Uh, we don't separate off. Um, we do have an individual I, uh, but this I is even a being of love. Um, we don't shut down our heart anymore. It's always open. Um, but this determines our ability to see ourselves um, as who we truly are again. Um, when we separate off into I, uh, we become human. We go back into a place of separation and we start thinking or focusing on ourselves as one. Now, this is what we have to do in the beginning when we start to wake up and build our power of who we are and from the inside out. We actually have to start putting ourselves first. We actually have to start saying, I'm important now. I honor me because we never did. We, sorry about that, we forgot who we were. We gave our power away. We became very small little humans and, and, and the world became really big. As we start to wake up, we get really big inside, we expand, we float. Um, that world out there doesn't seem so big anymore. We sleep a lot, we embody light, we build our strength and our power from within. We pull away from everything that we once knew. And here we connect as source. Here we connect to our memories. Here we become creators again. And there are many facets of this journey, which is why I'm doing this course, is so that we can visit each aspect, every version of us, and we are multidimensional, we exist in so many capacities. We are creators, we are source, we are um, alchemists, we are all things again here. Um, and our remembering brings us the ability to actually walk in the physical again. Um, Lemurians, galactic beings, all of these things are consciousness. We start remembering everything and it becomes confusing for a while um, because we can't tell which reality is real. We are integrating, we are um, becoming whole again, if you will. Um, for a while, we have to delve into the depths of our soul. We have to dig up, bring up, uh, release everything that isn't who we truly are. And we have to embrace everything that we start finding that's beautiful, that's magnificent, that's love. And we have to bring that up. Uh, from the inside out. Now, multidimensional. This is just wow. This is everything. And it will take 
every one of these vid videos and, and of this course to actually touch on just one small aspect of it, which is why you're going to get so many different videos and so many different topics, is because every part of those, every one of those are a part of this in some way, shape, or fashion. And we have to stretch our mind. We have to go into places that we um, have not been before. We have to let go of the resistance. We have to expand. Now that expansive state is you as a higher self being. It's you as a multidimensional being. That expansive place is you in many dimensions all at one time again. And then we contract. And I actually was going to do a different video on this, but I guess I'm going to put part of it in here. Each time we contract, we go back into an individual I um, if we separate off. Now, there will come a time where you don't separate off anymore. You're still we. Um, but what will happen is you'll contract and all of your fears, all of your limits, all of your old beliefs will come up. All of your old earth realities will start to play again. And you will um, actually act out um, whatever reality that you separate off into. Um, whatever safety mechanisms you want to go back to because you have fear. Because when we expand, it's exquisite. We see so many things of what could be, and that's what we want, and then we contract again. And the human mind goes, oh, wow, I went back. You didn't go back. You just shrunk back into your human mind. You shifted out of your heart. You moved back into the limiting dimensions of what old programming you still hold inside. Now, if you can recognize this and pay attention to what's going on within you and out there, you can actually see uh, where you separated off, where you went back into safe, where you stopped sharing, where you thought and noticed the thinking, where you went back into your human mind and where you um, are limited again. Our old stuff comes up here. Our old safety mechanisms come up here. Our, I have fear, I can't believe, I'm not ready to jump yet. I don't trust in faith. All of those things, this is the contracted, limited being. And you have contracted back into your old limited dimensions again. These are in your mind. When you shift intentionally and you allow yourself to expand, you become we, you become whole. And you can do it instantly. This is the beauty of it. You don't have to wait anymore. You can open a portal of expansion. And you can expand and become love and, and bliss and magic again. Just by choosing to do so. Just by becoming conscious. Just by being aware. Pay attention to the words that you use. If you separate off into I, oh, what about me? What's going to happen to me? You've shifted back into human in a limited dimension, which means you're going to activate an actual physical reality. To call forth things to show you certain things that you need to see in order to assist you in believing what you didn't trust back when you were in that expanded state and you were shown. Now, action is required. Doing is required. And this is where you jump with both feet of your heart. This is where you take every fiber of your being. This is t where you take every physical thing that you have and you jump with both feet and you take it. And you do what you're shown. And you give it your all. You, you, you dedicate every part of you to this. To you. To your expansion. To your journey. To your ascension. This is what it is. Limited human goes, wait a minute, I got fear. Let me go back there. Let me ask for some proof. Let me wait till it's safe. Let me grow into that. Let me expand my energy again. Let me go to sleep. Let me go at, call forth, and we, I don't use these words usually, some lessons, and lessons are just experiences that you asked uh, to have in order to show you what you didn't trust or believe to start with. Now, cool part, and I'll do the next video on this one, is that point A to point B. Point A is that first expansion when your heart is open and when you can see. Then you contract back. And you go into your human experiences to prove to you, to show you what you didn't believe. And you run around. This creates the separation of time. And you will exist in the separation until you're done. And when you're ready to step back into that vibration again. For me, the reason I can quantum jump from one reality to the next is because I don't hold that separation of space in between. I don't shift back into my human mind of fear. 
I don't shift back into what is safe. I will jump with everything I've got into the next reality with everything that I've got. Point B, collapse the space in between. This is the space between dimensions. It's your human mind. It's your fears. It's your inability to commit. It's your um, lack. It's your belief that you can fall or fail and that you can't do that. It's your inability to believe. It's your not trusting your heart, your soul, that things are going to be okay. It's every one of those things. So, expansion to expansion. You can increase the speed. You can actually stay expanded all the time. All you got to do is open your heart. Keep it open. You got to jump in with both feet of everything you've got. And you have to go for it. Point A to point B. And I will do another video to expand on this topic because you collapse the timelines. You go to sleep. You allow yourself to clear. You get back up. You start again. You open up communication. You come together with those who are also doing this. You jump in. You share. You help each other. You create that new earth reality from inside of you and by opening up and becoming we here in the physical as one. You create your world. Now, you separate off, you got to do it by yourself. You have to have more for yourself. And if it's not, if you're not sharing, you don't get more. And that's another topic, we'll go there. So, for the sake of this one, start saying we. Pay attention to how you feel when you go into I. Now, I am, and I had this conversation with somebody yesterday, you claim that space until you embody it, and then you don't need to say I am anymore. I am empowers you of something you don't yet hold or believe. And once you become it, you don't need to say I am anymore. So you claim it. I am. I am this. I am love. I am an unlimited being of light. I am abundant. Until you feel it with every fiber of your being, reprogram yourselves. Start changing your reality, your crystals. Start activating them on your own and in your body. They're there. You get to activate them. These frequencies are doing it. Whether you like it or not, your cells are charging in photonic light. This obliterates the old realities. It causes everything to come up to have to fall away. If you hang on, this is what creates suffering. If you let go, if you keep moving, if you let go of everything that is not in alignment with where you're going, we move very fast. We don't slow down. This is the quantum being here. Quantum existence means you jump from point A to point B with an open heart. You let everything in between fall away. You let it go. You don't hold on to anything. Um, this is, and, and what happens is reality start coming to you. They're already done. And I'm going to talk about this in another video as well. So, I love you. Call forth those awesome realities. Jump with everything you've got. Get in there. Get your hands dirty. Um, you are a quantum being. You don't exist in the limited dimensions anymore. If you're in your head, you're in safe. You're in fear. You're in I don't believe. And you separate off into the experience of time, which is going to take you all around the world. It might take you a year to come back to point B, the place where you started. It might take you a day. It's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to how long you want to play it safe until things are removed to point you in the direction you should have been to start with. Not really. Every moment is where you should be. But you get to choose whether you get to enjoy the journey, whether you get to jump into the fear, whether you get to embrace it and bring it here faster, or if you take the scenic route of prove to me an experience in order to show you what you didn't believe to start with. So, be a quantum being. Be multidimensional. Open that heart and embrace and jump into those realities as fast as you can. Call them forth and know that they're coming because they're already being worked in those other dimensions. You might not be able to see them that they are. We'll talk about that. Sleep, waking state, every one of them, same thing, different versions. I love you. Mahalo. Next video coming on the next awesome topic of love and being quantum beings here. Thank you.